Okay, so next step would be to grab your rubber grinder and make sure that the grinding wheel is on the proper way. Um, check out that video uh, to find out how to put this on properly. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to try and get all this off. You can try to peel it off by hand um, as much as you can first, just so you're not just blowing around um, the rubber everywhere. So, and then we're not wasting our drill either. So, most of this is actually coming off pretty nice. But if it's really stuck on there, that's when we're gonna use the grinder. Like some of this, probably not gonna be able to get it off without ruining our fingers. Some of that we can just grind off. That's pretty on there, that guy. Then here, try it here. Razor blade, not an actual razor blade. Of course, you would scratch the vehicle with that. Um, so, the rest of this, I'm having a hard time getting off here. So, I'm just going to buff the rest off. So, basically, what you want to do is either go straight downwards or straight um, sideways. So you don't want to just start in the middle and then go this way and this way. It just smears it and makes a complete mess. So for this one, I'm going to just start here and then come this way a little bit and then here again. But before we start, see all this dust on here? We, we don't want to be rubbing that into the paint because that's also going to scratch it. So what we need to do is uh, spray it with glass cleaner or, or your dish soap, whatever you have, and then uh, clean it up first. So I'm just going to grab my paper towel that is on this paper towel stand and grab a little bit of Windex here. Just to clean that off so we're not scratching the vehicle. It's no different than when your vehicle has dust on it and then you swirl your finger, it's gonna leave that scratch line. So we're just gonna remove all of this as much as we can. See all that flaky stuff from that chrome? Try to get all that off. And then we're ready to grind. So um, make sure again you, you check out the video on the actual grinder itself, um, how to turn it on, how to hold it, and all those things. But for now, I'm just going to give you the quick rundown. Just make sure you don't have any long sleeves um, to get caught in there. Uh, make sure you tie your hair back. So I got a ponytail in my pocket for this reason. So just make sure your hair is out of the way. You don't want your hair to get stuck in the grinder uh, if you have long hair and get caught in there. It's not not fun. So. To turn it on, um, you just hit the button on the bottom, and then it flips up, and then it clicks in. So you just click it in. So as you can see, I started from here, and it blows this, uh, it actually blows the, the rubber off, and that's how it takes it off. So you just gotta be very careful how you're doing it, um, and as you're doing it, so that you're not actually just smearing the rubber onto the vehicle.
actually, once you wipe this off, you can see where it has smeared. So you can either use adhesive remover to put on there to get it off, or you can come in and just hit it again with your rubber once you clean this off.